Okay. Welcome everyone. This is Adaptive Adventures and I, my name is Shauna and this is an adaptive chair yoga class. We meet every Wednesday and I have themes that go through the month. And so the second theme every month is on the breath. So of course we won't just be doing breath work. We'll be doing movement with our upper bodies that incorporates the breath a little bit. So we'll make it be very available to us. So we'll begin though by taking a little moment. Hi Carol. <laughs> we'll begin by taking a moment to settle and center. So wherever you are in your chair, settle in. See if you can find alignment through your spine. Feel the support of the chair holding you up. Feel the support of the floor, the furniture underneath you. And then very gently close your eyes for just a moment. We receive a lot of stimulation through our eyes. So when we close our eyes, we can more deeply go inward. So imagine that you're taking a mirror and reflecting it inward, scanning the inside of you. So let's start very basic, and then we'll go into more refined awareness. So in the beginning, just sense the room around you. Notice the temperature of the air. Notice if there's any ambient sounds in the room, if there's any appliances that have a little hum, the whir of a, of a fan, the blades of a fan, an air conditioning unit going off and on, a refrigerator humming, any of those things. Maybe you have animals that are moving about. So we're noticing if there's movement in the room, the size of the room, any sounds in the room, the temperature, and the feeling of the air as it touches us. Sensing our clothing touching the skin, sensing if there's any air moving, sensing if you blink your eyes, lick your lips, swallow, any sounds that come from your body, swallowing, sniffing, sneezing, any rustle of your clothing. And then begin to notice or consider yourself as a container that holds your spirit in this lifetime. And begin to notice the boundaries of your container. And on the inhale, as the universe, as the air around us enters into our body, can you feel that expansion that takes place as the lungs fill, followed by a deflation as the lungs empty? And can you observe where you feel the breath in your body? When you inhale, can you feel it in your shoulders, in the back of your neck, in your chest? Where do you feel it, if you feel it? Maybe you can sense the ribs as they lift up and out a little bit to the sides with an inhale and settle back and down a little bit with your exhale. Now begin to focus your awareness right on the tip of your nose where your nostrils are. And as you slow down your breath and Breathe in slowly and patiently. Maybe you can feel the air as it enters right into the gateway of your nose, passing through the entrance of your nostrils, traveling up and into your sinuses and then down. So just at the tip of your nose, can you feel the inhale coming in? Maybe you feel it on the space above your upper lip. So somewhere in there, the inhales, feeling the air draw in, and the exhales, the air almost leaking out. And maybe you can begin to notice that the exhale is a little warmer than the inhale. When the air passes into your body, your body warms it up. So slowing down the breath, feeling the lungs fill, feeling the lungs empty, noticing the air passing into the nose, noticing the air passing out of the nose. Now the next place you might be able to feel it is in the back of the mouth. There's a place just in the sort of top of the throat in the back of the mouth 
that when you inhale, the air has to pass by it to go down into the lungs. So maybe on the inhale, you can feel the air stroking the back of the throat, stroking it down on the inhale. And on the exhale, you may be able to feel the breath stroking up that same place in the back of the throat. And maybe drawing the air a little more slowly across the back of the throat to feel this better. Slightly cool air moving down on the inhale. Slightly warm air moving up through the back of the throat and out on the exhale. And then see if it's possible to put a little bit of space between your inhale and your exhale. So can you inhale, drawing in the air, feeling the lungs fill, and then pausing for just a moment. And then let's sigh it out. A long, slow, patient sigh. And let's try that one more time. Inhaling slowly through the nose, letting the ribs lift up and out to the sides, maybe feeling the heart lift forward a little bit. A little pause and then sigh it out. Until there's nothing left to comfortably exhale. Now gently open your eyes. Feel as though you have a sense of the inner workings of your body and bring your hands together in front of your heart. And we'll continue this slow breath just for a few breaths here. So as you begin to inhale, separate the heels of your hands and your palms until just your fingertips are touching. And then start to, in slow motion, move the hands away. Take them out to the sides. Let the thumbs draw back as the chest lifts up. Take the vision up. Breathe as you need to, but this is the configuration of an inhale. When it's time for you to next exhale, begin to gather that air in and draw it in like you're actually bringing it into your body. Let your fingertips find each other, draw the hands together and touch the heart. You can lower the chin for just a moment. When you're ready to inhale next again, take the hands apart, float them out. Lean back into the chair if that's comfortable. Look up, extend through the spine. And then exhale, drawing the energy like you're collecting a big ball of energy, drawing it in between the hands and giving it to the heart center. We'll do this one more time. Inhale almost as smoothly as if you're underwater, just flowing. And then exhale, drawing back in. So an expansive force followed by a force drawing in. And then release your hands onto your lap and pause for a moment. See if you can notice any difference in how you're feeling in your disposition, maybe a little bit of quiet or calm or relaxation. And then we'll move from here. I'm going to come a little forward away from the back of my chair so I can move a little bit better. But let's start with our hands in front of our heart again. We'll start with just the right arm. So now we'll match movement with breath. So when you're ready, begin your inhale, take your right arm out to the side, but up and look back. Even invite a little twist through the torso. When you exhale, gather that energy, bring the arm in and let it find the other hand. Now we'll take the left hand, similar. Reach it up and back, follow it with your eyes. Lengthen through your torso and open up your armpit. And then when it's time to exhale, soften that elbow, 
draw the hand back in. We'll try that again, but this time the arm shoulder height. So take the right arm out and keep it at the height of your shoulder as you twist and look back. And then exhale, bring your arm back and let the right hand meet the left. Inhale, like the inhale is floating your hand, finding the turn. A little pause as you reach a little further. And then exhale, pull the belly in and draw that hand back to meet the other hand. This time we'll go straight up. So on an inhale, take the hand and reach for the ceiling. Look up, lift the ribs away from the hips to get a little taller. And then inhale, bring that hand down and find the other hand. Inhale, take the left arm straight up and look up. And exhale, bring that hand down, like the magnet meeting each other. We'll do one more with a little bit of a bigger gesture. So inhale, take the arm forward, shoulder height, but then as you Continue, take it back around, breathe as you need to. Big full circle with that arm, like you're scooping. Like if you're in a boat and you're just leaning over to touch the water and then bring it up and find this hand. We'll take the left hand straight out and then continue your inhale as you take it up and back, down, scoop the water and bring it up and hands to the heart. Let's do one more full circle. So take the right hand forward and then big circle. If you need to bend the elbow or if you prefer to make a smaller gesture, feel completely free to do what feels right in your body and then bring the hands together. And when you're ready, inhaling the left arm up and then continuing up around, down, and back to meet the other hand. Place your hands on your lap and pause again. See if you can find long, slow, deep breathing. So when you inhale this time, let your chest expand, lift your heart. You can feel like you're lifting the bottom of your collarbones up and out. And then when you exhale, gently draw the belly back in, just a little gentle, not a squeeze, but just a gentle contraction drawing the belly back in. All right, we'll continue with this mix of breath timed with our arm movements. So left hand can stay on the lap. On an inhale, take your right hand up and to the right, try and drop your shoulder blade a little. When you exhale, sweep your arm across the room and bring it to the outside of your left knee and look to the left. So we're finding the easy path here, no strain. Let's do that two more times. So let that inhale float your hand up to the right and a little back, but get taller. And as you exhale, like you're polishing through the air, bring that arm down to the outside of the left knee and then turn and look to the left. And we'll do one more time in this direction. So inhale, float the right hand up and back. And use the exhale like it's literally as you pull the belly in, it's pulling your arm back down. You can put your left hand on your chair and turn and look to the left. Take an extra breath here. And then as you exhale, come back to center. And then pause for just a moment. You want to feel the right shoulder compared to the left. Just see, it might be subtle. Just little differences. It's nice to pause and feel them. All right, let's see how it feels with the left hand now. So on an inhale, take the left hand, float it up and back. Open up that chest, the armpit, and then exhale as though it's drawing your hand back in into the outside of the right knee. And then you'll turn and look to the right. Come back to center and all in that same inhale, take the left hand up and back, get a little taller, 
And right away, exhale, bring it down. Feel that rotation of the torso. Hand to the outer right knee and look to the right. And last time, we'll take that left hand up and back. And exhale, forward and down. And look to the right. Get a little taller as you twist. And release that and come back. All right. So a lot of what we're doing today is one arm versus the other along with our breath. So it's just little movements to enhance our breath. So let's start with taking your right arm forward and up on an inhale. And when you exhale, just bend that elbow and let the hand drop anywhere it naturally will go. On the next inhale, take your left arm up. And then on the exhale, likewise, drop that arm wherever it will go. Now take an inhale and get a little taller here. And when you exhale, let's gently tip to the right just a little bit. And then inhale back to center. And exhale to the left. Bring yourself back to center. Now we'll reverse it. Lift the left arm up and exhale, bring it down. Extend through your right elbow up and exhale and bring it down. Let's try that again. Big inhale, close the arm up, look up, arms next to the ear, and then as you exhale, bend the elbow. Maybe the hand goes to the opposite shoulder, back of the neck, back of the head, it doesn't really matter. The next time you inhale, swing that left arm forward and up. And we'll exhale and bring it down. So maybe you can hold your elbows, maybe your upper arms, maybe your hands are on your shoulders, or maybe you're just holding your hands together behind your head. Whatever feels right and available for you at this time. Now get tall and take your inhale. This time we'll exhale to the left first, just to mix it up a little bit. So come on over to the left. Inhale back to center. So the movement is slow to encourage us to slow our breath down, but if it's ever too slow, you'll always take another breath. And then inhale back to center. And now on the inhale, let's take the right hand up and exhale the right arm down. And then inhale the left arm up and exhale the left arm. A little bit more asymmetry. Let's take the left hand to the small of your back with the palm turned out. Now it'll help you lift your chest and draw your shoulder back and down. On an inhale, take your right arm up and look up. When you exhale, hinge at your hips, keep your spine long, reach way out in front of you, and then roll down across the lap. Let your head and neck relax down. You might feel a tug. In your low back or your spine, and we'll pause here for a breath so your body can adjust. And the next time you inhale, we'll use that right arm, lifting the right arm to the torso up. And then bring the right hand down. Release your left arm to your left lap. We'll take our right arm to the small of the back, bending the elbow. Back of the hand against the back. On an inhale, let's look up and take the left arm up. Hinge at your hips and reach way far forward. Hold, roll down. Release the head, the neck. Maybe draw the chin a little closer to your collarbones to bring make the back of the neck even longer. See if you can surrender here. Let go of anything you're holding on to. And the next time you inhale, swing the left arm forward and use your abdominal strength to slowly bring you up. And then exhale the left arm down. And for a moment, release the right arm. 
realign your spine, make it long. Pull the belly in, and now we'll take both, uh, no, both hands stay where they are, excuse me. <laughs> on an inhale, let's take both arms up and look up. And now on the exhale, take both hands to the small of the back, palms turned out. Take another inhale here, and then you'll exhale and you mount rolling forward. We'll take an extra breath here. Let's release the hands down so wherever they land. And then on an inhale, use your arms to help lift yourself the whole way out. And bring your hands to your heart. And we'll try that again. So let's inhale the arms, both arms up, maybe take it back a little bit. Can you look back behind you and deepen your lumbar curve? As you exhale, let's try and do it all in one long breath now. Hands to the small of the back and continue exhaling as you roll forward. Now release your arms when you're here, let your arms hang down. Let the back of your neck be long and feel as though you're melting into or towards your lap. And now on an inhale, you'll push down to lift your hands up. So arms are wide, they float up to the top. When your hands meet, then exhale and bring them to your heart. And release your arms again to walk home. Let's do something a little bit more invigorating here, and then we'll come back to some more slow mindful movement. So let's make fists with our hands. Let's take the left fist by the shoulder. Take an inhale here. And when you exhale, punch with your right arm. Let's take it straight out. And then we'll do the reverse. So we're just gonna let our torso twist a little bit. And we'll exhale, inhale as you come back, exhale, and just punch. Just see if you can coordinate your breathing any way that's comfortable with your arms. So we're drawing one elbow back and one fist forward. Just punching nice and slow and steady. Feeling that rotation in the torso. Keeping the hands about shoulder height. Feeling one shoulder blade move towards the spine and one shoulder blade move away. And last time, left hand punches. And come on back. All right, I felt that. We can shake our arms out a little bit. Let's do a little something for the hands. So let's bring the hands. You can keep the elbows softly bent and your hands can be wherever they're comfortable. So we'll start out on an inhale, spread your fingers wide and we'll call this starfish. And then bring your fingers together and we'll call this spear. And then bend just the top knuckles if you can. You can see what I'm doing, just the top knuckles. We'll call that claw. And then bring your hands into a fist. We'll call that club. And then take your wrists in a couple circles. And then reverse the direction. And then relax your shoulders for a moment. You can sway them a little bit. Release the arms. And we'll do that one more time. Sometimes we forget about the fingers and hands, but they're very important for our whole continuum of movement. All right, so when you're ready, on an inhale, spread your fingers wide, starfish. Just bring the fingers together. Spear. Bend just the top knuckles if you can. Claw, almost like you have a little kitty paw. Then bring your hands in together into a fist. We'll call that our club. And then, Opposite direction this time. Let's draw all the wrists in a couple circles this way, and then we'll reverse in the other way. All right. So now, when you inhale, let's take the arms straight in front of us and spread the fingers. So, like we're pushing, and then make fists and draw your elbows back. So, this is an inhale. Let's do this as an exhale. Push it away. 
Make your fist and inhale, draw the elbows back, squeeze the shoulder blades, and exhale, push them away. And one more time, fist, draw them back, inhale, palms, push them away, exhale. And then give your arms a little rest. All right, so because it's our breath movement week, I wanna use just a little bit of sound um, and so the, when we make sort of a little humming sound or a soft sound with our throat or even going ah, like that, it stimulates a nerve. Uh, it's called your vagus nerve and it's your 10th cranial nerve. So it comes from here, but then it wanders and it goes all around your body. And the majority of the information from your vagus nerve is from the bottom up. So most of our nerves are sending messages down, but our vagus nerve is determining how does your belly feel, how do your intestines feel, how does your low back feel, and then it's sending those messages back up. So it's a really different kind of nerve, but when we stimulate the vagus nerve, it makes us very calm. And so one of the ways that we stimulate the vagus nerve is singing, chanting, humming, sighing. So we're going to make a little noise when we exhale. And so I'm going to recommend an SH sound. So it's almost like saying the word shoo in slow motion, like shh. Or almost like you're letting the air out of the tire, that kind of sound. Okay. So let's take, we'll make soft fists. Let's put the thumbs in and then wrap the fingers around it. So then we don't squeeze quite so hard. So we'll inhale and um, let's see, hold on. Let's inhale and take our arms back and look up. So that'll be our inhale. And then let's bring our arms up. And I'll, I'll cue this a little better next time. And then on the exhale, lean forward and go shh. And then inhale, bring yourself back to vertical. All right, let's see if I can cue this better. I mixed it up. So on an inhale, let's take the arms up and look up. On your exhale, pull your elbows back and open up the chest. Take an inhale here. And then let's shh. Kind of like you're an inflatable doll letting the air out slowly. And then bring yourself back up. And we'll do it just one more time. And I think I'll finally get the arm movements that make sense with your breath. So let's see. <laughs> All right, so inhale, take your arms up and look up. And exhale, let your elbows swing back and squeeze back. Now let's inhale, look up again. And now exhale, tipping from the hips. Take an extra breath down here at the bottom. See if you're holding on to your head or neck. Can you release it and relax everything that you can notice? And then you can put your hands on your laps and push yourself back up to sitting. All right, we haven't done a lot with the spine or the hips. So let's start, we'll go to the right first. Let's start with making really tiny circles with our hips. So you're pushing your sit bones into the chair and then rocking forward into the sides. And so your torso is making a little circle. Shoulders are soft and relaxed. Your spine is long. Your belly is slightly engaged. And maybe try and coordinate your breath with your breathing. So when you inhale, you just inhale with your, the back half of your circle and the exhale is the front half of your circle. Start to make your circles a little bigger. And see how far you can go. We'll just do a few more here. Always good to release the low back. And this will be our last one. And then we'll come back and pause. Just notice how your body feels. Maybe your spine can feel a little longer and lift up now. Your shoulders might be able to 
slide down your back a little bit and the heart comes forward just enough to help you stay upright, but the lowest ribs are tucked in and not flared out. All right, let's go to the left now. Little tiny circles to the left. So you're just drawing a circle with your sit bones or with your head. Crown of your head is drawing a little circle on the ceiling. Coordinating your breath. So we're inhaling when we come back and there's lots of room. And we exhale when we lean forward and compress the belly. So let's do a few here. Any place that feels a little challenging, try and slow down and ease through it. And one more time. And then come back to center. All right. So now let's take it and add the arms to it. So if you can, we'll interlace our fingers. And then we'll turn our palms out away from us. And if it's comfortable, we'll take the arms up. Now, if that's not comfortable, you can let your hands rest on your head or keep your hands on your shoulders or on your shoulders. Anything that makes sense to you. But if you can, I'll demo it with the arms up like this. All right, we're going to go to the right again. But this time, we're going to have our arms up here. So a little bit further away from the center. So it'll feel a little bit more work on your core because it has to support the weight of your arms extended from your body. But see how this feels. This may make you feel a little bit more interesting. You get to roll your shoulders open and around. Let's do one more in this direction. You definitely need to Engage your abdominals here to support that. And then when you get to the top, let's just look back and maybe let the hands go back just a teeny bit without any compression in the low back. Make sure your low back is comfortable and you're just looking back. And then just for a moment, bring your hands down, shake them out and relax your arms. We'll take just a breath before we do the other direction. So inhale through both nostrils. Hold the breath for just a moment and then sigh it out. When you make that little sound in your throat at the bottom of the exhale, you might feel incredibly relaxed. It's just this little, almost like a little drug. It just <laughs> calms you down there. All right. Let's inhale the hand, I mean, interlace the fingers again. And maybe if you notice there's a habitual way that you do it. Like I always put a particular thumb on top. See if you can do it with the other thumb on top, just to change it up a little bit. And then we'll inhale, push the hands away and to the extent that it's available, taking them up over us. And now we'll go to the left. So we need to the left and around. And so this can be very small and very slow, or it can be very wide. So you just decide, paying attention to your sensations, your low back and your abdominals need to support this movement. You can really stretch across your shoulders, open both armpits up, and find almost a little twist here as you're going around. So really lubricating the shoulder joints. Do one more complete revolution of the arms. And then when you come to the top, we'll look up. Take an inhale here and hold your breath as you take your arms back. Still holding your breath, drop your chin, let your hands keep going back. And then exhale and release everything and come on down. All right. We'll go back to doing one-armed things. That's really good for the head, neck, and shoulders. And we'll do it kind of progressively, and we'll build up, and then we'll do it with the left. So we'll start out with just the right arm. You can relax the right arm by your side. On an inhale, just draw it forward and up right next to your head, and look straight ahead. 
and then turn your palm away and on the exhale nice and slow like you're pressing something away from you take it down to the side and we'll repeat everything a few times so let's inhale take it up get a little taller and on the exhale push it down and we'll do one more time like this inhale bring it forward and up and exhale, turn the palm away and push down. All right, now we'll add the head. So on an inhale, take the arm up and look up. Turn the palm away, look to the right and push the arm to the right and follow with your eyes. So you'll end up looking down a little bit. And then come back to center, float the hand forward and up. Turn the palm, turn the head, and everybody pushes and goes down. And last time, come back to center. And inhale, take it up. Give it to the right and push down. And then come back to center. All right, now we'll take a little bit more. So inhale that right arm forward and up, but now look to the left as you take the right arm to the right. Slowly pushing it away. When the hand reaches to the bottom, come back to center with the head and the hand. And inhale straight up. Look away and push down. And last time like this, take the arm up and exhale and look away. All right, let's take the right arm forward and up again. But now this time we're gonna go over to the left and let's turn and look down. Take that arm in a full circle, bring it the whole way around to the right leg and come back to center. We'll do this two more times. So the right arm comes straight up. We take it over to the left. Look down. And then big circle, take that right arm the whole way around, down, and then bring it just right to the right thigh. We'll do this one more time. Inhale the arm up. We exhale to the left, let the head relax over, and we look down. And the next exhale draws that hand down, around, and to the left. All right, last variation now. Our right arm is really getting to work out, then we'll do the left. All right, so right arm comes up. Same thing, goes over to the left. We look down, but now turn your palm to face the ceiling and slowly arc your right arm the whole way down towards your right hip. And then bring yourself back to center when you're done. So this now is working the neck muscles a little bit more. So inhale the right arm up, take it over to the left, look down, and now turn the hand away in a big, slow arc of that right arm, trying to release any tension in the neck. A little pause with the arm down by the side, and then inhale and come back to center. We'll do that just one more time, and then we'll reverse. So inhale up, take it to the left, look down, and now arc that arm up and over. Pause a little, try and reach the floor with those fingertips so you get a little stretch. And then inhale and come back to center. Now just take a breath into the chest and see if you can notice any difference on the inside of the right shoulder versus the inside of the left shoulder. When you take a breath and you imagine your breath going into the shoulders, does it enter the right shoulder differently than the left? 
out of the left arm. So we'll start really simple. So free up that left arm, right hand can just relax on your lap. On an inhale, looking straight ahead, we'll just take the left arm up and then we'll take it down and out to the side. And we'll do everything in a set of three. So inhale up and exhale down. You can see now how this is building towards the final movement that we'll do. So inhale up and exhale down. And I'm demoing it with a straight arm, but if it feels better for you to come to here and take it down, feel free to adapt or modify any way that you need to. The arm can be bent, it can be on the shoulder, it can be on your chest, any place that feels right. Okay, now we're gonna add the head. So first we're gonna look with the arm, then we'll look against the arm, and then we'll do a little bit more with the side movement. All right. So inhale that left arm straight up, and now we'll look up and now pivot, look to the left, turn your palm to the left and then swipe the air and follow your hand with your eyes and then come back to center. And inhaling up, pivot as you pause and then exhale, pull the belly in as you reach down and look down and then swivel back to center. And last time like this, arm comes up, swivel, and we push down. And come back to center. All right, now we'll look away from the arm. So the left arm comes up. We pause as we look to the right, turn the palm to the left, and then push the palm away. And then come back to center. Second time, take it up, look away, pull the belly in as you exhale and push the air down, down, down. And maybe look further to the right. Bring yourself back to center. Last time like this. Inhale the arm up, turn the palm away and exhale down, down. Down. All right, two more to go now, two more ways to go. So we'll take the left arm up and now we'll take it over to the right. Come back to center and take the arm down. And inhale the arm straight up. And we'll take it over to the right. Inhale back to center and bring it down. And the third time like this. Inhale it up. Exhale it over. And then inhale back and down. And now the final one. So we inhale the left arm up. We exhale, take it over to the right and look down, turn the palm away from you and slowly push the air away, down and back until you feel that nice little pull along the left side of your neck and your left shoulder pause for just a moment and then bring yourself back to center. We'll do that two more times. So inhale the arm up and look up, exhale to the right, smooth motion looking down and then turn the palm towards the ceiling and then that big arc. So we're asking that shoulder to make its full range of motion if possible and then pushing down, down and reaching a little bit at the bottom just for a little bit more sensation and then inhale, bring yourself back and just once more. Inhale up. And exhale to the right, look down, palm up, and we'll take that arm in a big pause. And then inhale and bring yourself back to center. Let's sit back in our chair. 
You just rock your hips just a little bit left and right. And then take your head in opposition. So when you rock to the left, take your head to the right. Then walk, rock to the right, take your head to the left. Let's do that a few times. One more time each side. And then back to center. Let's take both arms. Inhale both arms up and look up. And exhale both hands to the heart. And then we'll reverse it. Inhale both hands up. And then exhale arms wide out to the sides and back to the heart. So from my heart to yours, it's always a pleasure to do this practice with you. And may the fruits of this practice benefit you and all those around you. Namaste.